nowadays engineers need cad softwares to calculate coordinates what if you don't have a cad software what if you have to do the calculation in the shop floor using trigonometry and geometry you can calculate most of the coordinates in this video we will look at such calculations to calculate coordinates for a tangent arc subscribe the channel for more such videos click the bell icon to get notified in case you want anything specific you can leave your comments happy learning you have the drawing here and for this cylindrical part this diameter this length radius angle all these things are given now length for this line and with that the coordinate for this point and this point how to calculate this now we'll look at so this diameter is given as 100 and this diameter is given as 50 so this radius portion is 100 minus 50 by 2 that is 25 mm now we take this as the input for the calculation so irrespective of whether this is required for a turning that mean a cylindrical part or a non cylindrical part so we can use the same kind of calculation so now if you look at the figure this length is given this height is given this radius is given and this angle is given for any calculation majorly there are two techniques or two theorems being used one of the most important thing is pythagoras theorem what pythagoras theorem says is in a right angle triangle so this is the right angle that means 90 degree this is the longest side of the right right angle triangle so the pythagoras theorem says the area made by this line the square of square made by this line is equal to the squares made by this line and this line so c square is which is the area of this square equals b square that means area of this square plus a square that means area of this square that mean the longest side square equals sum of squares of the smallest side that is pythagoras theorem next one is trigonometry so you have one angle and the longest side here again it is right angle triangle this angle is 90 degree the longest side is called hypotenuse and the other side which is adjacent to the angle this is also adjacent but this being the longest side it is called hypotenuse the other side which is adjacent to this angle now here we are considering this angle if you are considering this as the angle this becomes the adjacent side so now for this angle this is the adjacent side now this is the opposite side so for this angle this is the opposite side now if you have this angle then this becomes a opposite side now for this angle this is hypotenuse irrespective of the angle this is hypotenuse the longest side and for this angle this is the adjacent side and this is the opposite side now in trigonometry sin theta equals opposite side by hypotenuse this is opposite side so sin theta equals opposite side by hypotenuse 
cos theta equals adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tan theta equals opposite side by adjacent side. Now, based on your drawing input, you have to decide whether to use sin theta, cos theta or tan theta. So if you have any of this and the angle, then you have to use sin theta. If you have any of this and you want to calculate the other one, then you have to use cos theta. If you want to calculate any one from this, then you need to calculate using tan theta. Now coming back to our drawing, this length is 60 and this height is 25. This angle is given as 30 degree and this arc where we want to calculate the coordinates. So this circle, we are making this circle so that we can have a better picture. Now this is R10 radius 10 which is given this is also r10 because the radius for any point will be the same so this is one radius this is another radius both r10 now here you have the degree 30 degree now we are making a right angle triangle here just by adding this line AB. Now we have another right angle triangle. Now let's see this 30 degree. If you draw another line which is parallel to this. So you know when two parallel lines are cut by a angular line. So this angle and this angle will be same. Now this is a tangent line and this is a radius line. So this will always make a 90 degree. So now this we have calculated this is 30 degree. This total is 90 degree. So this angle would be 90 minus 30 degree. Now if that is the case then this is again 90 degree and this is 90 minus 30. So this is 90 minus 90 minus 30 which is 30 degree. So finally you have two right angle triangles. One is this with 30 degree and one side as 10 mm and another right angle triangle and this angle is 30 degree and these things you need to calculate. Now for calculating coordinates at A, you need to calculate MN and MA. So we'll see how to calculate. MN equals 25 minus PT. 25 is already given in the drawing. This point to this point, this vertical distance. That 25 minus this BP. So BP is again, we do not know we need to calculate. How to calculate BP? BP is nothing but OP minus OB. Okay, OP is the radius of this arc. So 10 minus OB. Now OB we need to calculate. OB is opposite side for this 30 degrees. So we know sin 30 is opposite side by hypotenuse that means OB divided by this radius 10. So OB is equal to this 10 multiplied by sin 30. So we get 0.5 into 10. Sin 30 value of sin 30 is 0.5. Now when you apply this value of OB in this formula Then you get 10 minus 5 equals 5. So now you got this BP. Now this BP when you apply in this 
to calculate mn we already saw 25 minus bp so 25 and bp we got as 5 so men is 20 now how to calculate ma you have this right angle triangle and now you have this adjacent side now ma is opposite side so tan 30 you know it is opposite side by adjacent side so ma which is opposite side equals tan 30 multiplied by adjacent side Now Mn we have already calculated here which is 20. So this 20 if you apply here Ma equals tan 30 is 0.5773 multiplied by 20 equals 11.546. Now we need to calculate PQ. PQ is 60 minus. So 60 is already given in the drawing this point to this point. The total distance 60 minus Ma plus AB okay MA we have already calculated here which is 11.546 and AB is we need to calculate from this right angle triangle cos 30 if you see it is AB divided by 10 so cos 30 into OA that will give you AB. So 0.866 is the value of cos 30 multiplied by 10 you will get 8.66. Now applying this in this you get PQ equals 60 minus 11.546 plus 8.66 equals 39.794. Now, the same calculation for any given length, height, angle and radius, you can calculate these coordinates. Whatever calculation we have done here, these things can be calculated using a template. This Excel template is available in www.cnc-learning.com. You can download it free of charges and just enter these values and get the coordinates.